He jests at scars that never felt a wound. But soft what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her best delivery is sick and green, and none but fools do ever cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. I mean... She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. <laughs> Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business, do entreat her eye to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I mean... She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not... Be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear war, or shall I speak at this? <laughs> Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. <laughs> be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word! <laughs> call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man are thou? Face green in night, so stumblest upon my counsel. By your name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. And I had written, I would tear the word. <laughs> my ears have not yet drunk one hundred words of that tongue's utterance. Yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings, and I o'erperch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. It was love can do that dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me! If they do see thee, they will murder thee. I have no cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death prorogued, wanting of thy love. Thou know'st the mask of night is on my face. Else would a maiden blush, but paint my cheek for what thou hast heard me speak of tonight. <laughs> fain would I dwell on form. Fain, fain deny what I have spoke. But farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thee at thy word. Yet, if thou swearest, thou mayest prove false. At lovers' perjuries, they say Jove laughs. Oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond. And thou mayst think my behavior light, but trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than any that have the cunning to be strange. Lady. By yonder blessed moon, I oh, vow... Oh, swear not by the moon! The inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Well, do not swear. Or, if thou wilt, 
swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear no, love! No, do not swear! <laughs> Although I joy in thee, I have no joy in this contract tonight. It is too rash, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to exist ere one can say it lightens. Sweet, good night. This precious bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night. Good Night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. Oh, I did give thee mine before thou didst request it. <laughs> and yet I would it were to give it thee again. My bounty is as Boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Madam, I hear some noises in. Dear love, adieu. A non good nurse, sweet Montague, be true. Uh, stay but a little, I will come again. <laughs> oh, blessed, blessed night, I am afeard. Being at night, all this is but a dream too flattering, sweet to be substantial. <laughs> Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose, marriage. Send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to thee, where and when thou wilt perform the right, and all my fortunes at thy foot all lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! None! But if thou meet'st not, well, I do beseech thee! Madam! By and by I come! To cease thy suit and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul! A thousand times! Good night! A thousand times the worse to want thy light. Love goes towards love as schoolboys from their books. But love from love towards school with heavy looks. Romeo, my Romeo. My dear. By what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgot why I did call thee back. <laughs> Let me stay here till thou rem remember it. <laughs> I shall forget to have thee still stand there. Remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget. Forgetting any other home but this. Sweet. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thy eyes, peace in thy breast, that I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest.